Hey guys, gossip and reactions, Maru's take. Gisa Bunchen feels hurt all over again after Tom Brady put football ahead of family once again at Netflix Worst. Gisa Bunchen says she's been hurt all over again because Tom Brady once again put football before his family. This time during his comedy roles, as we reported at the time, Bunchen and Brady bothered during their marriage because she felt that the former NFL quarterback failed to prioritize their home life over his career, a rift that eventually led to their divorce in October 2022. That was the fastest divorce that I've ever seen. The woman played no time to sign those papers. There were no fight, no, okay, this is my money, your money, what in the hell? You see, which people handle business differently? I have seen or heard people in a divorce process for 10, 15 years, 20 years. This divorce probably take, what, one week? <laughs> it's like the love is over. I'm banging the coach. I'm happy with the coach. Just sign that shit and let me be free. I was like, damn, girl, you got it on like that. She just have the men sign and I'm out. I'm like, damn, 13 years of Brady and Giselle, Brady and Giselle. And she's a fighter, too. If somebody says something wrong about Brady during the game or if something happened, she would speak up her mind. She would let people know how she feels. And you just going to dump the guy like that. The thing is, Brady had something for the game. Like The love of football is like, how can I let go? Even though I'm getting older, I'm aging, but I still feel like I have it on. Is that when you have something in your mind, you cannot disconnect it with reality. It is time for you to go. He, he retired and come back. Like He could not let go, just like Michael Jordan. Those people who really enter the game, they can't give up so easily. Not even a woman can stop them from doing what they love to do, man. Playing uh, basketball, playing football. Like, they in it 100%. Even though Giselle felt like Tom Brady should have given more time to the kids, at the end of the day, it's hard to be at home 100% to be with the kids and the wife while you also trying to give a hundred percent to something you love so much which is football maybe when he retired he would spend more time have more uh father and daughter and son time with the kids but while he was playing he was so into this thing baby and you knew it like if you know what somebody into before you married them before you got with them you cannot expect them to change just because you are married or have kids with them this doesn't happen it can you cannot expect that to happen okay <sighs> but when worst master general jeff rose made a crack about the massage parlor scandal that new england patriots owner robert Kraft brady stood up for him on the first day of training camp that Scrawny Wookie famously walked into the owner Robert Kraft's office and said, I am the best decision your organization has ever made, was said during the roast. Would you like a massage? <laughs> and when he come to that part of the joke, they say Tom Brady got up and get up there and say, no, don't make that joke. It, you know, now 2024, anything you say, people sexualize it. I guess it's no longer funny. For the first and only time in the event, Brady approached Ross, a legend and the worst in Phil, and told him, don't say that S again. Kraft was one of the 25 people charged with soliciting P-R-O-S at a Florida spa in 2019, but the charges against him were dropped. Also, there was a deep thing there. Meanwhile, jabs flew all night long about the end of Brady's marriage and about Bunchen's ongoing relationship with her Jutsu coach. No, Jutsu coach were told Brady's defense of Kraft 
while he stood up aside and let comic after comic rip on his marriage fell to his ex wife like proof that he still cares more about the football world than his personal life okay i see what happened tom brady stood up when the guy made fun of his former uh f football honor because it was something public it was something personal for the coach but when the people was making fun at his ex-wife being with the karate coach he did not say a thing and i don't think he should have said anything they were truthful the thing did happen you know you were with your coach so i don't see why you should have a problem with it listen we are adults we're not little kids little princess that feel like we are entitled to a, a certain people's opinion people should not say that say this at the end of the day grown up be a woman and stand up for your action you were with the man for 13 years and at the end you felt like he was not the best father the best husband he was too much into his football career you let him go he is entitled to have fun and do whatever hell he wants okay he realized he needs to be a better parent a better father and he can do that he's still alive he's still young and good looking by the way so he still could do that so what's the problem giselle move on with your karate coach and have fun subscribe thank you bye